Mara Majavi condones people of Iran on deadly earthquake. At least five people were killed and hundreds more injured in an earthquake in northwestern Iran on Friday. The 5.9 magnitude tremor struck near the town of Tark, some 400 kilometers northwest of the capital Tehran. Iranian opposition leader Mara Majavi on Friday expressed her condolences to the people of Iran over the deadly quake. She also urged the nation to rush to the aid of the victims of the earthquake. By plundering Iran's wealth or squandering it in its warmongering and anti-patriotic nuclear and missile projects, the mullahs have left the people of Iran defenseless in the face of natural disasters, Mrs. Rajavi said. One hundred and ten U.S. lawmakers urge Europe to shut down Iran regime's embassies. At least one hundred and ten U.S. lawmakers from both the Democrat and Republican parties have co-sponsored a resolution condemning the Iranian regime's acts of terrorism, particularly targeting the main opposition group, People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, and calling for the closure of the regime's embassies in Europe, in Albania. House Resolution 374 was unveiled at a conference organized by the Organization of Iranian American Communities on October 30 at the House of Representatives. House Resolution 374 condemns past and present Iranian state sponsored terrorist attacks against U.S. citizens and officials, as well as Iranian dissidents, including the Iranian regime's terror plot against the Free Iran 2018, the alternative gathering in Paris. The resolution recognizes the rights of the Iranian people and their struggle to establish a democratic, secular, and non-nuclear republic of Iran. Amnesty International Iranian tear gas grenades among those causing gruesome protesters' death in Iraq. Amnesty International said in an update press release on Thursday that tear gas and smoke grenades that have been killing protesters in Iraq have been manufactured by the Iranian regime. Amnesty International said it has conducted further research into the 40 mm less lethal grenades killing protesters during the recent violence in Baghdad. The new analysts showed that in addition to the Serbian Sloboda Kakak M99 grenades already identified, a significant portion of the deadly projectiles is in fact M651 tear gas grenades and M713 smoke grenades manufactured by the Defense Industries Organization of Iran, the human rights group said. Pompeo urges word to address Iran regime's nuclear provocations. U.S. Secretary of State Mark Pompeo says the Iranian regime's actions call for all nations to reject its nuclear extortion and take serious steps to increase pressure. Pompeo made the call on November 7 after the Iranian regime rolled back another commitment under the 2015 nuclear deal with world powers by resuming enriching uranium at its underground Fordu facility. It is now time for all nations to reject this regime's nuclear extortion and take serious steps to increase pressure. Iran's continued and numerous nuclear provocations demand such action, Secretary Pompeo added.